to you prasanna yeah you are i think sir nothing credit like something you know if we are all together in this so it's not like that so uh, i think number, is, i think i think richard richard i think richard should be in because he spent 25000 i have to listen so not so loud why i can't hear what they're saying i am reading the ten poems uh, with the collection of 31000 poems so far that's now the it. volume on the computer <laughs> and i write in three languages uh, mainly in english but uh, since you had uh, permitted to have any language i thought let me give a try with my spirit in hindi okay let's begin the show i think we could uh, go try hi prasanna hi sir pranam uh, thanks for joining uh, uh, i have another meeting another meeting at at what time sir yeah, same same time going on <laughs> okay <laughs> line train career my guru ji <laughs> that's why i'm going to see you hello hey, francis sir hello saraswati ma'am pranam namaskar happy independence day let's begin okay let's got thank you for the time okay i'll let uh, so we are pretty much live now so let me welcome you all on behalf of the team of fatal brains to celebrate a poetic evening with fatal brains for some it is morning for some it is afternoon well um, um, to begin with let uh, turn down the computer oh uh, turn down the computer um uh, le- le- let me turn it down and down your tablet too loud i kindly request all an uh, honorable poets out here to kindly uh, follow the housekeeping rules that you know turn off turn off your mic or you know don't create the you know the kind of noise you know it's, it creates the noise you know uh, echo so i kindly request you all to turn off your mics uh it, because it is sometimes you know it is difficult you know managing the things you know when we'll call talking or anything do it dealing and uh, cheering so it is better if you could turn off your mic by yourself so i could i could do that but then it's, yes uh yes uh let's begin the show with a motto that um, the world uh, uh, that we are living in uh, uh will have this peace pros peace harmony brotherhood and you know a bony homie of you know the fiction uh, like you know common uh, goodness you know and uh, let's share the violence uh, no discrimination uh, no hatred no hatred of any sort no wars and let's begin since uh let me inform you all that tomorrow we are celebrating the 75 years of independence indian india and india is celebrating 75 years of independence azadi ka amrit mahotsav it's celebrating so uh, so we are in the mood of celebration uh, celebrating you know uh, independence so uh, first we'll take up on take local um, poets who recite on patriotic poems on india and then we could have uh, the open session open mic session where we could have the free themes so uh, i hope it's all comfortable i hope you all understand so it's coming to you and uh, let me welcome you all once again and let's begin the show with hasmuk mehta sir hasmuk mehta sir mic is yours Kindly unmute your mic, sir. What would you like? Uh, one uh, k- tricolor or a farmer? Any, Please, sir. Tricolor. Go, go ahead with tricolor, sir. Okay, okay, sir. So I will, I will be celebrating Free Independence Day in India today, and uh, I especially uh, composed a poem on my tricolor. And today, you know, each house. each house is hosting the tricolor and my spirit goes with the tricolor i shall be sticking in hindi 
and here it goes har ghar tiranga har ghar tino tiranga teen rangon mein ranga hamare man mein ganga pure vishv mein danka har ghar tiranga bade teri shaan duniya mein aa bade tera maan hamare dil mein hai abhimaan tera ho uncha abhimaan har ghar tiranga आजादी के परवाने शहरी अपनाने वाले मंत वाले कुर्बान होने वाले हम उनको कैसे भूले हर घर तिरंगा रखे अखंड विश्वास फैलाए चारों ओर स्वास सबके दिल में रहे अहिंसा का अहिंसा का मान चमन के लिए रहे सदा आस्था और आस हर घर तिरंगा नहीं झुकने देंगे नहीं रुकने देंगे जमाने को भी दिखा देंगे तिरंगे को आसमान में फहरा देंगे हर घर तिरंगा ना किसी देश पर बुरी नजर ना जात पात के मानने वाले आजादी का नशा और एक ही मनसा देश को मिले नई सुरक्षा हर घर तिरंगा हमने भी ठान लिया है आजादी का जिम्मा लिया है तिरंगों को हाथ में भी पकड़ लिया है अपने साइन अपने सीने से जकड़ लिया है हर घर तिरंगा जिसने भी किया दुशासन उसकी खत्म हो जाएगी सांस हम करेंगे सुरक्षा अंतिम सांस झंडा सदा रहेगा हमारे पास कर ले दुश्मन लाख चढ़ाई रख मंसूबा और दे दे सफाई हम करेंगे उसके लिए कार्रवाई फिर ना सुनेंगे एक भी सुनवाई हर घर तिरंगा हर घर तिरंगा वंदे मातरम बस मेरी कविता इसके साथ मैं समाप्त करना चाहता हूँ आपने सुना बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया सर बिल्कुल सर वंदे मातरम हर घर तिरंगा बहुत खूब सर बहुत ग्रुप थैंक यू फॉर प्रेजेंटिंग योर वंडरफुल uh poem sir let me let me tell you all the poets out here this that has muk sir uh, meta sir has penned almost 30000 of poems and he is a retired uh, army uh, air force officer uh, from ahmedabad so he is very inspiring and he keeps on writing so next i would like to call upon um, raza babu gandam he is a yoga practitioner is a well known poet and he is much talked uh, you know a poet from hyderabad raj babu gandam uh, is a first time at adorning your uh, there raj babu gandam sir welcome to the fight yeah yeah one second thank you sir so you ordered poem on uh, tiranga or any poem any you like sir but better if you could uh, sing a uh, sing out you know or recite a tiranga poem because let i will have uh, open on the other side okay after a little while let somebody i'll just search for the appropriate poem okay so then okay. i would like to call upon uh, basudev paul sir basudev paul is a retired professor uh, from you know fr uh, from kolkata university and he is a scholar himself basudev paul sir kindly turn on your mic Vasudev Paul. Okay, I'll I'll go to Anmesh sir. He is Anmesh Mohitkar. He is uh, he, he requests no introduction. Everyone out here knows that he conducts uh, you know regular open mic sessions, and uh, he's a he's an author himself, and uh, he writes very well, and uh, you know he brings voice from around the world. So I would like to call upon. हिंदी <laughs> Uh, though it's not on tiranga but uh, it uh, it uh, it is about nature actually 
ओके हिवी गो सिग्नल पे दो घंटे ट्रैफिक के कम होने का इंतजार ऑफिस के काम के बोझ के बारे में विचार करते करते सिग्नल पर दिखाई देने वाला हर इंसान मुझसे मुझे सुखाई सुखी दिखाई देता है हर तरफ जिंदगी की जद्दोजहद पैसे कमाने की होड़ वो नई कार वो बड़ी मोटरसाइकिल बड़ी कार बड़ा घर चीटियों की तरह एक कतार में अंतहीन रास्ते पे चलते हुए पर आज मुझे माफ कर दो यारो तुम इन पहाड़ों में इन हरी भरी घाटियों में भटकने दो मुझे तुम ये ठंडी हवाएं मेरे डीप फ्राइड दिल को गुदगुदी करती हुई कहती हुई कि जिंदा है तू इन पेड़ों में कुछ पंछी बैठे हैं कुछ खा रहे हैं कुछ गा रहे हैं कुछ बंदर भी है अपनी छोटी सी आंखों से मुझे घूर रहे हैं शायद वो गुस्सा है क्योंकि इलाका उनका है मैं उनके इलाके में बिन बुलाए मेहमान की तरह आ गया हूं वो स्वागत तो मेरा नहीं कर रहे पर इजाजत दी है उन्होंने मुझे उस झरने पर भीगने की हरी घास पे चलने के लिए चलते चलते फिसलने के लिए मुंह में कुछ घास के पत्ते जो गए हैं उनका स्वाद आजमाने के लिए कुछ पत्ते सामने बहती हुई नदी में लहरों से एक जीव हो होके लहरों के संगीत गाते बहते बहते कहीं जा रहे हैं पत्ते समुंदर तक तो ना पहुंच पाएंगे पर जितना उनका सफर था उस सफर में लहरों के हम सफर वो जरूर हो पाएंगे महत्व इसका नहीं कि सफर क्या है अहमियत इसकी है कि हम सफर कौन है हरे भरे पहाड़ों के बीच कुछ काले डरावने बादल बहुत तेजी से मेरी तरफ आ रहे हैं जैसे आज का उनका काम ही मुझे भिगाना है उनकी गड़गड़ाहट बार बार मुझे याद दिला याद दिलाती कि ये जिंदगी है प्यारे कुछ पल में सुख है तो कुछ है दुख के मारे ये जिंदगी है प्यारे कुछ पल में सुख है तो कुछ दुख के मारे बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया थैंक यू वेरी मच सर बहुत को सर सब कुछ समेट लिया उसमें लहरों में आ, बहुत सब आप मराठी भी लिखते हो ना हाँ जी हाँ जी मराठी भी लिखता हूँ मैं मराठी भी लिखता हूँ तो, हो, हो सकते हो तो मराठी भी हो जाए अगर आ, कभी करेंगे वो भी करेंगे आते रहेंगे तो वो भी करेंगे थैंक यू एवरीवन दिस वाज अबाउट नेचर बिकॉज आई कीप गोइंग ऑन ट्रैक्स एंड अदर थिंग्स सो हाउ अवे फ्रॉम द ट्रैफिक यू गो इनटू द नेचर एंड यू फील एज इफ यू आर अलाइव सो दैट वाज द जिस्ट ऑफ माय पोएम एंड आई आई डिडंट मिस द इंग्लिश स्टाइल ऑफ यू नो ओपन यू नो रिसिटेशन फ्रॉम यू दैट्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ इट यू नो हिंदी That's Thank wonderful, you. sir. That's wonderful, and I would go to Rashmi, ma'am. She is from Madhya She is, you know, a social activist, and she runs a dance school, fire, you know, uh, art school, and everything. She writes wonderful poems, and she was on uh, Unmesh too, and she would uh, um, definitely be, you know, responding to uh, Unmesh Mohit's uh, poem, and she would recite a poem too. Uh, Rashmi, ma'am, over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prashanna Ji. गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन नमस्कार उनमें सी कमल जी गुड इवनिंग नमस्कार बहुत दिनों के बाद आप लोगों के साथ मिलना हुआ एंड फ्यू पीपल आई नो फ्रॉम अनमेस लाइफ मिस्टर लांटन एंड वन मोर नेम आई थिंक आई नो बेले वी मेट अलियर तो गुड इवनिंग टू यू ऑल और जैसा प्रसन्ना जी ने कहा भी आई गो सेलिब्रेटिंग आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव ऑन टुमारो ऑन फिफ्टीन अगस्त तो तिरंगा पे मेरी कविता पूरी नहीं हो पाई समर्दा अदर वे सो मैं एक पुरानी कविता है जो देशभक्ति के ऊपर है मैं उसी को आपके सामने रखने जा रही हूँ कविता का शीर्षक है ए देश मेरे ए देश मेरे क्या कहूँ तुझे तेरी आन लिए विचरता हूँ कनकन तेरा शामिल मुझ में मैं रंग तिरंगा लिए फिरता हूँ ए देश मेरे क्या कहूँ तुझे तेरी आन लिए विचरता हूँ कनकन शामिल तेरा मुझ में मैं रंग तिरंगा लिए फिरता हूँ यूं धूमिल अस्तित्व मेरा पहचान मेरी है तुझसे मैं तुझसे खुद को लिखता हूँ मैं किस भारत की बात करूँ मैं किस भारत की बात करूँ तुम विस्मित ही रह जाओगे सदियों का गौरव है मुझ में जो 
मैं आज कथा वो लिखता हूँ एक सोने की चिड़िया इटलाकर जब अफगानिस्तान से उड़ान भरती थी एक सोने की चिड़िया जब इटलाकर अफगानिस्तान से उड़ान भरती थी वो पंख सुनहरे क्या पूछो म्यांमार में जाकर भी न थकती थी मैं उस भारत की बात करूं जिसने संघर्ष तो झेला है जिन्हें शरण दिया हमने झुककर बस हर बार उसी ने लूटा है अब बात सुनो इस भारत की अब बात सुनो इस भारत की सरपक्र से मेरा उठता है क्या बात सुनाऊ उन वीरों की गर्व से मस्तक झुक जाता है विस्तार हुआ कम लेकिन इस आन को झुकाना पाया कोई विस्तार कम हुआ लेकिन इस आन को झुकाना पाया कोई तुम आंख उठाकर देखो चाहू और बस शांत तिरंगा लहराएगा प्रताप शिवाजी लक्ष्मी जैसे वीरों ने अपना कर्तव्य निभाया उस देश की स्वतंत्र उस देश को स्वतंत्रता है देन उनकी जिन्हें सेनानियों ने खूब खून से अपने सींचा है है धैर्य हमारा ही जो तुम मेरी धरती पे सीना ताने चलते हो है वीर हमारे ऐसे ही जो छन में नतमस्तक कर सकते हैं दुर्ग हिमालय का शान है तो दुर्ग हिमालय शान है तो कन्याकुमारी में सागर पाव पखारे हैं गंगा यमुना की कलकल ध्वनि तन मन को पावन कर जाती है है पावन धरती महापुरुषों की है पावन धरती महापुरुषों की यहाँ वीरंगनाओं ने भी पुरुषार्थ लिया हम भारतवासी माँ तेरे खातिर अपने खून समर्पित करते हैं नवल स्वप्न नव भारत का हम विश्व इतिहास रचाएंगे फिर कहलाएंगे सोने की चिड़िया हम भारत भारतवासी और माँ सजाएंगे बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आप सभी का मुझे सुनने के लिए थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन फॉर लिस्निंग मी बिल्कुल मैम ये भूमि है पुण्य भूमि यहाँ पे बसे हैं सर सब यू नो जितने भी बसे <laughs> बहुत को बहुत को नाउ आई वुड गो अक्रॉस टू द और यू नो यू नो वेरी लाइवली पोइट यू नो आई वुड से ही इज एन एडवोकेट ही इज यू नो ही राइट्स ही राइट्स सो वेल एंड ही इज थिंग सो वेल ही इज हिज नेम इज एडवोकेट कमल पुंदर कमल पुंदर सर वेलकम टू द शो नमस्कार नमस्कार सभी को गुड इवनिंग You look dazzling, sir. Go ahead with your poem. सुनाइए आप जो सुनाना चाहें चाहेंगे. अभी सुनाओ एकदम से. हाँ. अभी और लोग अभी सुना रहे थे लोग. नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल आप ही का. Show आप का है भाई. गीत सुनाते हैं. हाँ बेटा गीत बस. तो एक देश भक्ति का गीत सुनाता हूँ वो आपने नए शायद सुना है किसी ने भी. तो वो सुनाता हूँ. जी जी. एक संदेश चीन पाकिस्तान कोई भी देश हो कि अहले वतन जाने वतन ये उनको बता दो मेरा है ये मेरा हिंदुस्तान ये उनको बता दो जिन वीर शहीदों ने सरहदों पे खून दुश्मन का बहाया उन वीर शहीदों का है पैगाम ये आया देश की धड़कन है तिरंगा ये उनको बता दो मेरा है ये मेरा हिंदुस्तान ये उनको बता दो है कदम कदम पे खतरा पर आगे बढ़ रहा बांधे है कफन सर पे सैनिक ये भारत का पहने हुए है चोला भी सैनिक ये वीरता का एक इंच भी नहीं देंगे ये उनको बता दो अहले वतन जाने वतन ये उनको बता दो सीचा है लहू से जब आजादी है पाई चैन से सोती है जनता जब दे ये कुर्बानी झुकने नहीं देंगे ये तिरंगा ये उनको बता दो मेरा है ये मेरा हिंदुस्तान ये उनको बता दो
किसान यहाँ मिट्टी से है सोना उगलता राहुल गांधी से कोई लेना देना नहीं है वो आलू से सोना बनाता है तो ये कि किसान यहाँ मिट्टी से है सोना उगलता सरहद पे माँ का लाल है शोले उगलता खून से भी अपने है वो मोती बनाता सबसे बड़ा लिखित संविधान ये उनको बता दो अहल वतन जान वतन ये उनको बता दो बर्फीली पहाड़ियों पे भी है ये मुस्कुराता जान की जरा से भी परवाह नहीं करता तन मन धन कर देता न्योचावर ये उनको बता दो मेरा है ये मेरा हिंदुस्तान ये उनको बता दो नापाक मंसूबों को कभी पूरा नहीं होने देंगे नासूर जो बनी है समस्याएं उनको निपटा देंगे थ्री सेवेंटी और थर्टी फाइव तो चला ही गया है तो बाकी और जो भी है यूनिफॉर्म सिविल बोर्ड और सब जो समस्याएं हैं कि नासूर जो बनी है समस्याएं उनको निपटा देंगे कतरा कतरा खून का बहा देंगे ये उनको बता दो पहले जाने वतन ये उनको बता दो और आखिरी बंद पढ़ता हूँ फिर विश्व अपनी वाणी को विराम देता हूँ कि सारे जहां से अच्छा हिंदोस्ता ये हमारा वंदे मातरम जन गण मन जिसकी भारत माता आन बन शान ये तिरंगा ये उनको बता दो मेरा है ये मेरा हिंदुस्तान ये उनको बता दो अहले वतन जाने वतन ये उनको बता दो जय हिंद जय भारत जय हिंद जय भारत सर वाओ दैट्स कॉल्ड पैट्रियटिज्म दैट्स यू नो कमल पुंदर फॉर यू ऑल यू नो यू हिंद यू नो ही इज इंबाइब्ड एज इन पैट्रियटिज्म यू नो दैट्स द थिंग दैट्स अ पैट्रियोटिक फ्लेवर यू नो दैट रिफ्लेक्टेड थ्रू हिज सॉन्ग वंडरफुल सर वंडरफुल दैट इज समथिंग अमेजिंग अमेजिंग I love that. Now I would go to Kaliya Paka ko jai thili. Kaliya Paka ko jai thili from Puri. Puri. I think I could call upon Dr. Sudipta Mishra. Yes, sir. May I be audible? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Shall I start my poem? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I am extremely proud of my nationality. I am an Indian. i owe my everything to my motherland let me recite my poetry without wasting your valuable time freedom thousands of indians have offered their life oh my mother for your soil so many lives have been sacrificed so many mothers dedicated their treasures for our freedom we all have seen a dream a dream to see our mother india ali a dream to cherish the spirit of our nation so many nights have been spent tirelessly after mercilessly beaten by britishers indians did not stop to raise their voice they chose to live freely by choice they got freedom not by chance but by battling for justice equality and liberty it is the hard child treasure to preserve we chose to be free from the chains of autocracy from the constraints of colonizers it was not our demand to get liberation it is the heritage of our nation we feel proud to be the offspring of such a golden age from kashmir to kanyakumari we have to spread the message that we all are one despite the regional differences let's awake with the dawn of this day and proudly say that we are indians 
let's take a place to devote the last drop of blood for only our nation. Thank you. Happy Independence Day in advance. Happy Independence Day, ma'am. That's a beautiful tribute. That's a beautiful tribute now. Thank you for presenting and thanks for coming onto the show now. Uh, I think if I could go to Basudev, sir. Uh, if he's ready, Basudev Paul, sir. Back to Kolkata. Basudev Paul, sir. Yes. Could I recite? Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, please give some, some moments. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. Meanwhile, I think I could call upon someone then, sir. I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Maybe I think I'll go to again. I'll call upon Raj, Raju, sir. Raju, sir, are you ready? Right, sir. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Can I? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mic is yours. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, my poem title is Things Fall Apart. When lies take front seat, cruelty becomes the order. Innocents are harassed. Obedience are double taxed. Things fall apart. Only when votes are counted and any criminal can get bail, taxpayers are burdened, citizens are exposed to hardships, things fall apart. In the name of love, lust thrives. In the name of care, child abused, elders dumped in old age care, when only money becomes prime, things fall apart. When thoughts become chaotic, when affection is only a mask, when life becomes only a race, when relationships are only a show, things fall apart. Thank you for listening. Exactly, sir. Things fall apart when things go otherwise. Uh, thanks, thanks for presenting your poem, sir. And thanks for coming to the show, Raju Babu, sir. Thanks such for the invitation. Honor. Thank you. Honor. Such an honor, sir. Such an honor. Keep coming, sir. Ready now? Now I would go. Yes, sir. Now I would go to Basudev, sir. Yes. Basudev, yes. sir. It's yours. Thank you, everyone. On the eve of Independence Day, uh, I am going to recite a poem, though not on Independence Day, but uh, on uh, somewhat uh, on nature and uh, on the part I have written recently in response to a poet's uh, poem. The title of the poem is Mist. The voice of the poets gets throttled. They peer the lowering howl wild. No one listens to their heart's sweet. Poets themselves beat their drums. With travails, they stick for humanity. No one is ready to fill their pinching. With thousand goes, their notes go awry. Unheard, unguarded, yet chuckling joy. They bear you to the power of a fitting bay, like a leaf over the where the strain soft. With and within, the poets are triumphant, yet the poets wept of the pain in them. The world is apathetic to the poet's pen. As the days end, all lips to the nestling their heart bleeds and beats in agony. They go on warbling 
the message of humanity the voice howled at midnight sinks into the mars with a heavy heart they look at each other the stream pumps with the pounding at the bow and patient the stroke to reach the other shore thank you very much prasanna for inviting me to be here such a wonderful uh, poem sir that's really thank uh, you know that speaks uh, volumes i mean in some time in, in another way i mean uh, thanks for presenting your beautiful poem sir on the eve of independence uh, day <laughs> the, the happy independence day now i would go across to uh, west bengal once again and i would like to call uh, he's a well known poet he's a scholar uh, to them. i mean he's very active on social media you know platform i mean poetry player groups he is none other than kalipoda ghost sir kalipoda ghost sir <coughs> mic is yours good evening good evening to all at the outset i express my heartfelt gratitude and thankfulness to my brother kumar prasanna ji for inviting me on the eve of the auspicious 75th azadi ka amrit mahotsav a very significant ceremony in the history of india so on the eve of the auspicious 75th Adagi Ka Amrit Mahatsa. I would like to recite my poem, A Happy Independence Day, Joy Hint. Ah, oh, what a joy, what a joy. Happy 75th anniversary of the Independence Day of India. It is a red letter day in the history of india let us celebrate the happy independence day of india in a befitting manner and hoist our tricolor national flag with pomp and splendor with great dignity and respect and sing the national anthem and patriotic songs with gusto and enthusiasm we will celebrate the 75th azadi ka amrit mahotsav with pomp and splendor let us unfurl our tricolor national flag with deep respect we must remember the great martyrs who had laid down their life for the freedom of india we will commemorate the great martyrs like khudiram bosu netaji subhash chandra bos binoy badol dinesh matangini hazra gandhi ji uh, who and the freedom fighters who fought for the freedom of mother india under the shackles of british rule we must pay our homage and tribute to the freedom fighters who dedicated their lives for the freedom of india to free the bondage of bondage and shackles of mother india we must promise to protect the sovereignty the sovereignty of india at the cost of our lives we must infuse patriotic interest and zeal into the young minds into the young generation long live our martyrs freedom fighters and soldiers who fought for the freedom and sovereignty of india my deep respect and homage to the soldiers who fought for the sovereignty and freedom of india at the cost of their lives Joy Hind, Joy Bharat, Mother India. I pay my deep respect to Mother India. My thanks to all concerned. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We cannot forget uh, exactly. We cannot forget the sacrifices of martyrs and soldiers, you know, freedom fighters. This is the moment we remember and celebrate. 
Yes, we must commemorate the yes, education, the revivals, the uh, the the movements. Exactly, sir. Of exactly. India exactly, to sir. fight against the British rule, the shackles of our mother India. Exactly, sir. On that note, I'll 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 go uh, uh, to our next poet. Uh, she is she is an embodiment of Sur and Sargam. She is Saraswati Poshwal as a very lively poet. Saraswati Poshwal, ma'am, over to you. Saraswati Poshwal. I, Hello. I yes. Good evening, How are you, first of all, Kekumarji? Uh, firstly, I would like to thank you for inviting me on this uh, great grand show on this great evening of Independence uh, Eve. So thank you so much for uh, calling me upon for this uh, platform. And uh, I thank you once again, congratulate everyone. And Abhitak Sapka Suda, it was wonderful. I'm going to recite one of my Hindi poem, firstly. Just like today, Amrit Mahotsav is Hindustan ki azadi ka. Pichatkarvi Varshkant manane ja rahe hain hum log, aad se hi. तो मोहब्बत के रंगे की जैसा कि शीर्षक है मेरी कविता का मैं आपके समक्ष पेश करने जा रही हूं मोहब्बत तिरंगे की मोहब्बत तिरंगे की सजदे में मेरे सजदे में मेरे सिर झुका के चल दिए मोहब्बत तिरंगे की सजदे में मेरे सिर को झुका के चल दिए दिस इज फ्लैग सेइंग ये झंडा जो है वो कह रहा है जो हम लोगों का तिरंगा है वो बोल रहा है कि सजदे में मेरे सिर को झुका के चल दिए ना बोला ना बात ही की ना बोला ना बात ही की मुस्कुरा के चल दिए सजदे में मेरे सिर को झुका के चल दिए ना बोला ना बात ही की बस मुस्कुरा के चल दिए चिराग आंधियों में जला के चल दिए चिराग आंधियों में जला के चल दिए बे मायने थी जिंदगी बे मायने थी जिंदगी बहाना बना के चल दिए बे मायने थी जिंदगी बहाना बना के चल दिए सबब उल्फत का ना था सबब उल्फत का ना था फर्ज का जामा पहन कर चल दिए सबब उल्फत का ना था फर्ज का जामा पहन कर चल दिए सजदे में सिर को झुका के चल दिए मोहब्बत झंडे पे की निभाते चल दिए मोहब्बत झंडे से निभाते चल दिए पैगाम चुप्पी में हो पैगाम चुप्पी में वो मुझको सुना के चल दिए पैगाम चुप्पी में वो मुझको सुना के चल दिए आगाज वतन था आगाज वतन था वो तरंगे की मोहब्बत में आगाज मोहब्बत था वो वतन का तरंगे की मोहब्बत में खुद को लुटाते चल दिए वो खुद को लुटाते चल दिए हर एक सिपाही महबूब था मेरा हर एक सिपाही महबूब था मेरा जो सीने पे गोली खाते चल दी हर एक सिपाही महबूब था मेरा जो सीने पे गोली खाते चल दिए मोहब्बत तिरंगे से निभाते वो चल दी मोहब्बत तिरंगे से निभाते वो चल दी तो उम्मीद है आपको मेरी कविता पसंद आई होगी इसी के साथ एक कविता छोटी सी है जो आज ही मैंने लिखी है तिरंगे पे छोटी सी तीन पंक्तियों की है तिरंगा मेरा प्यारा तिरंगा मेरा प्यारा आन बान और शान है हमारी तिरंगा मेरा प्यारा आन बान और शान है हमारी इसके संग दिन और रैन है हमारे इसके संग दिन और रैन है हमारे तिरंगा मेरा प्यारा सफेद हरा और केसरिया सफेद हरा और केसरिया इसके रंग देते एक संदेश है प्यारा देते एक संदेश है प्यारा रहो शांति से रहने दो शांति से यही है संदेश हमारा रहो शांति से और रहने दो शांति से बिखेरो प्रेम यही है संदेश हमारा तिरंगा मेरा प्यारा तिरंगा मेरा प्यारा मेरे छोटी कविता थैंक यू बहुत खूब मैं बहुत खूब मैं तो कहूंगा बेहतरीन पेशकश बेहतरीन पेशकश बहुत खूब बहुत खूब बहुत खूब Thank you. Thank you. Now I would like to call up and go across to you know uh, Pradeep uh, Naik. I, I forgot the name, but she is the first timer from uh, uh, Varanasi. 
uh, I would like to welcome the poet. She is a doctorate and she is a, an English uh, scholar. Uh, Pradeep uh, Naik. Pradeep Naik. Thank you, sir. I'm Garbi. Good evening to yeah, everyone. Yeah, sorry, that's how you know, I got it lost in the Indian. So I was just messaging you to, you know, yeah. So sorry for that. And yes, please kindly reset your, uh, you could introduce yourself and you could uh, reset your poem too. Yeah, sure. I'm Gargi. I write in English poems. I have two books to my credit, which have been published and reviewed. Uh, I'm writing also in different web scenes, like Krita, The Voice Net, Poem Hunter, etc. And recently, I've also been honored by the Ravindra Tagore Award. Without taking much of your time, since tomorrow is Independence Day, a happy Independence Day to all of you, I would like to recite my poem, Everlasting Love. Everlasting love of mine, for my motherland is divine. I love my motherland, cultural, religious, linguistic, traditional, and customary my land. Mahatma Gandhi, the priest of nonviolence, who dedicated his life and gave us independence. Ramina Tagore, Sarojini Naidu, and Arundhati's Ray, contribution towards literature, glorified, illuminated, and enlightened it in every texture. Mother Teresa, the saint of love, care, kindness, concern, compassion, and affection, whose selfless service uplifted the lives of destitutes, unfortunates, and downtrodden. India has produced Asha, Lata, Subalakshmi, Anup Chalota, the unique ultimate singers. Their melodious lyric in our mind still does linger. Spiritual is land is India, born where was Sant Tukaram, Nyaneshwar, Mirabai, and Lord Rama. The golden crops, the greenery drops, the snow-laden mountains of the Himalayas, the deltas, rivers, seas, oceans and bays, the chirping birds, on the leaves the dew drops. India, where consensus prevails, sails honesty, sincerity. Everlasting love of mine, for my motherland is divine. I love my India, the country of fun, frolic, joy, jubilance, gaiety and gala. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you. Beautiful, man. Jai Bharat, Jai Bharat. Just, just a beautiful tribute that's wonderfully presented. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you and thanks for presenting, presenting your beautiful poem. Now I would call upon and the poet who goes to, you know, uh, waits to the rails and rivulets and goes to the, you know, <laughs> yeah, what do you call, uh, hills to get her thesis and to get a doctorate or whatever he it is. Uh, uh, she is none other than uh, Janata Ramanathan from Tamil Nadu. Janata Ramanathan, ma'am, doctors. She has uh, many papers to her credits. She is a well known author, publisher, uh, and the head of the department. Janata Ramanathan, ma'am. Yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening, all erudite poets. I'm so happy to be here with you all. Thank you, Prasanaji, for the words of. I don't know what to say. I'm not the head of the department. I'm junior there. And so it's pleasure. But uh, in the evening, I wrote two poems and I just read in the evening that uh, I spell uh, meet. And so this time I don't um, find fault with me. I have a poem not on um, national patriotism or anything. I have written a poem on death. I thought that I... Yeah, do you permit me to recite that yeah, poem, Sanaji? Yes, it's yours. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Uh, death, the unseen follower of kind souls, I welcome you, my dear. You are like a shadow, galloping with the human steps. You have washed canopy, you reign the whole world, but seizes our dear ones. I love you, for you is the hardened life. Expecting your knock at unforeseen hours, waiting for you from the days of spring, without sleep to unfurzen the latch, not to make you wait at my doorsteps with stretched arms, I hold back myself. Oh, dear death, how perfect you are. Equally, you see the universe. Come and accept my humble life. I waited for you in the lavender fields. 
to welcome you with bunches of lavenders tied with golden threads. My dear friend, sit with me, wait a little long time. Just like frost apple picking, just some commitments. Please wait near the plum tree in my orchard. I have kept a flowery throne of rainbow orchards. Relax there in the sweet fragrance of my ripe fruits. You are an enigma. You ease my pain. You came to draw the curtains of my life, to end the play, to notify the end of the entertainment. You quiet us, relieve me from life, and bring a cessation. Hug me, my love. Take me to the ethereal garden of your realm. Are you there to end my idiosyncrasies? The best fall. For us, you relieve me from my pain, but you instill pain in my beloved one. How could they overcome a silly surging query from my heart? Release me from this mortal world. I love to travel with you to your world, just to see the place of judgment narrated in the stories and songs. A great friend. You rejuvenate the body from material world. I submit my life's testimony to grace you. Thank you. Wow, what a beautiful take on that. That's just something you have a great imagery filled with, you know. I mean, such a, <laughs> you know, it laced with spirituality too, I would say, <laughs> you know, philosophical. You know, okay. It's a great take, I would say. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. I have to thank because you have given me space to be within such a great people, and I learn a lot from them. Their poems, beautiful. You know, you, 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 Happy Independence Day to all. Thank you. You need to have that perspective, you know, for the you know looking at the aspect of death. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that's a uh, great about yeah. great news about you and now i would she's my everything i think uh, she's every I, she's all time with me guiding she's my guiding force i would say she's you <laughs> i think no i think i'm asking i'm uh, i'm talking about the other point and i'm so sorry ma'am i'm that i'm going to call upon so i she she's dr rupali sarkar ma'am uh, i would call now i would we we'll call upon Dr. Rupali Sarkar to go. Uh, thank you so much, uh, You've been some great things and your contribution to shape. I think all of us owe you so much. We owe you so much. Ma'am, your audio is not clear, ma'am. Can you hear me now? Yes, I, I think, I, yeah. No, again, again, he cut off. You again, he cut off, ma'am. Just you not hear me? Move, move it a little bit closer. Move it a little bit closer. Maybe I think you could. Uh... Now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. The disturbance is there, but yes, I could. When I read, can you, when I speak, can you hear me? Yeah, this disturbance is there, but yes, you could uh, proceed, ma'am. You could proceed. Firstly, I want to thank you and I want to thank all the poets here because uh, you know, to give us a voice, to give the poet a voice is uh, the most marvelous thing that can happen on Independence Day tomorrow. And we won it through a lot of poetry and song. You know, with the songs that were sung at that time, the poems that were written were part of the, the freedom movement. It was part of the voice of the people. Can we hear me now, Prisoner? Can you hear me? Yes, I, you know what you do? You give it to somebody else and I'll get it right. Okay. Give it to somebody else. You call somebody else now first. Okay, I'll come back to you, ma'am. So I yeah. hope no, I'll, uh, I think I think uh, she uh, she's uh, at, at another point who he is a scholar, he is an you know English scholar. She's from Jaipur. She, uh, she's Shalini Yadav. Uh, she has many books to her credit, papers and everything, and uh, pertain to uh, English. Shalini Yadav. Dr. Shalini Yadav. Dr. Shalini Yadav. 
you are here ma'am i think i uh, you are here kindly unmute your mic shalini yadav i shall know uh, shalini yadav i could see you and i think she is gone okay now uh, maybe i would like uh, maybe we, we would uh, better we could, we could prefer to hear a young poet uh, from she is an engineering graduate and she is in the, her final year she writes so very well i mean she i'm amazed at her writing she is sweta a sweta kindly unmute your mic and please turn on your video so that everybody could you know uh, hello good evening uh, thank you president sir for inviting me for this event and uh, it's been one uh, one year that i have not joined any poetic events and now i feel proud to be here with you so so i'm from kerala uh, pursuing my b uh, degree in kvg college of engineering final year cs student and i have been selected for tcs uh, that's all and uh, now i will go with my poetry thank you thank you so much Uh, i go with my poetry and the title is you you had a dream yesterday feeling strange as a zephyr the ink was so close to me helping the right way back enabling to pour the emotions within concentrating the rhythm of evergreen music i felt you in every front i felt you in front of my eyelids the dream of yesterday stood real it's not the time we spent matter but the feeling of togetherness the urge of being alive dead desires blooms thoughts mixed up through i believed in you as every letter penned for you gets stuck as a promise i felt you every time the poem of rhythm now is certain as a unique thought that's all thank you thank you so much Oh, sweet and short and sweet. That's wonderful, Swetha. Thanks for thank coming. Thank you so much, sir. Thank. And, and, and congratulations once again. I think I will now go to you know uh, she. I you know what you call. She names herself humanity. Love of humanity. She is a very I mean enthusiastic writer. A, you know social activist to say. Love of humanity is a young poetess. For you all to say, uh, she writes in Urdu, Hindi, and English as well, and she is a biotech scholar. She is a master in biology. So, Laiva, floor is yours. Am I audible? Am I audible? Laiva, go ahead. Okay. You are audible, uh, Laiva. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome all uh, on the celebration of. 75th anniversary of our independence स्वतंत्रता की पचहत्तरवीं वर्ष गाठ पर आप सभी का स्वागत है ये पोइट्री मैंने लिखी है उनके लिए जिनसे मैं बहुत प्रेरित हूँ बचपन से ही एक तरह से उन, उन्होंने ही मुझे आ, वो ताकत दी है बोलने की या लिखने की जो भी आप लोग समझिए सो लेट स्टार्ट भगत है वो स्वाद जिसकी जुबा का रागे इनकलाब रहा हो आजाद सवेरा जिसका इंतखाब रहा हो भगत है वो भेखौफ से जिगरों में आबाद रहा जो सलाखों के पीछे भी आजाद रहा जो न जाने कितने जमीन डर और कीमत के हवाले हो चले जंजीरों में जकड़ा एक शहजाद रहा जो भगत है वो किसी लम्हे के हाथों जिसकी गुलामी नहीं गुलामों की नुमाइश में जिसकी नीलामी नहीं जिसने मौत को अपना जश्न बनाया था कोई मन बाकी ना रहा जहां उसकी सलामी नहीं भगत है वो जिसकी आंखों से दर्द छलका जुल्म की इंतहाई का उन्हीं आंखों में इरादा बस गया देश की रिहाई का स्वाधीनता के परचम का अंदेशा था वो क्रांति से सजे सुर का संदेशा था वो भगत है वो तेज जिसकी शोभा बल जिसका अलंकार हो 
जिसकी शीतलता से कापा हुकूमत का अंगार हो राजगुरु का त्याग सुखदेव का समर्पण जिसकी फांसी बनी फूलों का हार हो भगत है वो जिसने पहन लिया बसंती चोला जिसके खून में भड़का बगावत का शोला कौन कहे भला उसे आराम चाहिए था अरे कौन कहे भला उसे आराम चाहिए था आजादी की कीमत उसने किसी सुख से ना तोला भगत है वो मित्र था वो उस चंद्र से शेखर का जिसका नाम ही आजाद होता है जिसने जीवन तो दूर शत्रु से मिली मृत्यु को ठुकरा दिया ऐसे तो अमर शहीद ही सोता है भगत है वो जब भी गुलामी की बेड़ियों में जकड़ ये जगत जाएगा इन बेड़ियों को तोड़ने वाला हर युग में एक भगत आएगा और मैं ये कहना चाहती हूं जो मैंने कल ही लिखा सोच जब जोड़ने सी काज हुई है अनेकता में एकता की लाज हुई है स्वतंत्रता विलीन अभिव्यक्ति में रही न प्रभाव न दबाव न मोहताज हुई है वतन से इश्क की हद न तय की जिन्होंने जिंदगी उन पर शाबाश हुई है खौफ न जिसे सरगमी पर मिट, मर मिटने का वो शान लहू जाबाज हुई है नफरत के बुत चाहे जितने बढ़ा लो मुहब्बत की बोली ही सरताज हुई है सोच जब जोड़ने सी काज हुई है अनेकता में एकता की लाज हुई है थैंक यू सो मच कमर जी सुन रहे होंगे तो अगर मैं बुलाना चाहूंगा कमर जी से कमर जी कुछ बोलिएगा लाइव का जी हाँ नहीं एकदम से बढ़िया रचना है और शब्दों को जो पिरोया है बहुत ही सुंदर तरीके से पिरोया है तो इसके लिए साधुवाद इनको बहुत बहुत साधुवाद अगर ये चैट बॉक्स में इसको पेस्ट भी कर सके तो हमारा सौभाग्य क्या होगा कि पढ़ने को मिलेगी हमें ये बहुत सुंदर रचना है बिल्कुल थैंक यू कमल जी कमल जी थैंक यू एंड थैंक यू लाइव सच ए प्रोफोन्ड सच ए You know Thank the you. way you were rendered, it recited. I mean, uh, that speaks. इनके लिए अगर चार लाइन की परमिशन हो तो इनके लिए चार लाइन बोलता हूँ. जी बोल दी बोल. जी के कुछ जो सैनिक हमारे बॉर्डर पर रहते हैं और जो प्रदेश में रहते हैं लोगों कैसे अपने माँ बाप को छोड़कर आ जाते हैं किसी भी उसमें पैसा वैसा कमाना ये सब कुछ होता है और जो सैनिक कुछ यादें अपने आंगन में छोड़ आया हूँ. कुछ यादें अपने आंगन में छोड़ आया हूँ कुछ शामे अपने मचान पे टांग आया हूँ कुछ शामे अपने मचान पे टांग आया हूँ और बहुत ही तड़प रहे होंगे माँ बाप मेरे बगैर बहुत ही तड़प रहे होंगे माँ बाप मेरे बगैर कुछ आहे उनके आंचल में बांध आया हूँ कुछ आहे उनके आंचल में बांध आया हूँ Uh, in response to uh, Layabas <laughs> recitation, that's wonderful, Layab. I'm proud of you. And keep coming. Asad, can you hear me? Now I could hear you, ma'am. Very perfect, pitch perfect. I would say. So, whenever you want to call me, do that. No, you could take. Now it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Firstly, thank you so much for giving us a voice, and uh, this this is so important because. Uh, our independence movement was uh, led by poets, and uh, you know, to music. Even our army bands marched to, you know, Sare Jahan Se Acha Hindustan Hamara. And um, uh, I wrote this poem last year. Okay, and uh, I fly. We fly the flag in our house for all these years of the independence and more. Uh, so it is not today. Tomorrow is not only. Because um, it is celebrated in my home, uh, like we celebrate festival. We get new clothes to wear. We eat good food. So I wrote this last year, and um, it's called "Mujhe Rang De, Mujhe Rang De." Okay, just follow me. Hindi. Mere liye to ek hi jhanda, 
वो है मेरा लहराता तिरंगा मेरे लिए तो एक ही झंडा वो है मेरा लहराता तिरंगा और नहीं भाता कोई रंग और नहीं भाता कोई रंग केवल गेरुआ सफेद और गहरा रंग इस झंडे की शान के लिए लड़ते हमारे सिपाही जंग हाथ में तिरंगा झंडा लेकर आंखों में तीन रंग बसाए हंसते हंसते अर्पित करते मातृभूमि पर अपनी मेरे हाथ तिरंगा मेरे हाथ में मां तिरंगा झंडा होगा नहीं तो मैं उसमें निपटा होगा मेरे हाथ में ये तो तिरंगा होगा नहीं तो माँ उसमें मैं निपटा होगा यही आशीष है सिपाही मांगता यही कर्तव्य वो ही जानता आओ तिरंगे के लेते कसम नहीं करेंगे हम देश के न्याय और शांति भंग चलो सब मिलकर गीत गाए कदम कदम आगे बढ़ाए स्वाधीनता से नानी जैसे भर ले दिल में तीनों रंग केवल हमारा तिरंगा रंग बेदी बापू आजादी तुमने खड़क बिना ढाल साबरमती के संत तूने कर दिया कमाल मेरे लिए तो एक ही झंडा वो है मेरा लहराता तिरंगा मेरे लिए तो एक ही झंडा वो है मेरा लहराता तिरंगा जय हिंद बिल्कुल सो मच प्रसन्ना बिल्कुल मैम एक ही तिरंगा एक ही तिरंगा लहराता तिरंगा बहुत खूब मैम बहुत खूब आप हिंदी में रिसेट किया और बहुत अच्छा लगा मुझे आपने आपसे सुनते हुए और और नेक्स्ट मैं बुलाना चाहूँगा शी इज शी इज हेर सेल्फ इज समथिंग लाइक एन एक्टिविस्ट एंड शी इज ए वेल नोन ऑदर यू नो ट्रेवल्ड अक्रॉस द कंट्रीज यू नो given lectures on poetry and what not i mean uh, she is an inspiration i would say she is pankuri shinha pankuri pankuri ma'am pankuri ma'am kindly unmute your mic i think i uh, have you are there here so kindly unmute your mic अंकुरी मैम मैम आई आई कैन सी यू बट देन ओके लेट मी कॉल अपॉन डॉक्टर गंगा लक्ष्मण पटनायक मैम शी इज वेरी एक्टिव वेरी वेरी एक्टिव शी रेस्पॉन्स ऑन प्रोम्स रिसिटेशन एवरी वे शी इज शी इज डॉक्टर गंगा लक्ष्मी पटनायक मैम नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल good evening everyone it's an honor and a pleasure to share this chill moment with all the poets so i extend my azadi ki amrit welcome to you all myself dr gangalakshmi patnaik from odisha india going to recite a poem the title is after 75 years before recitation i would like to give few lines about the background of this poem after 75 years of independence indian women are enjoying maximum rights no doubt but many of them are not conscious about their own rights though women are successful in their achieving goals there is a lot more for them to achieve so i would like to recite a poem about their strength to achieve their rights the title of the poem is after 75 years in the post independence period plight position of women screamed a different reality in the post independence period plight position of women screamed a different reality somewhere within storm rises and makes women tremble like bamboo leaves in pre monsoon cyclone somewhere within storm rises and makes women tremble like bamboo leaves in pre monsoon cyclone they go long way to set up mind because everywhere gender inequality they go long way to set up mind because everywhere gender inequality rap insecurities domestic violence follow like their own shadow turn their life gray 
rape, insecurities, domestic violence follow like their own shadow, turn their life gray. Women around me say painful without freedom, more painful to exist in this territory. Women around me say painful without freedom, more painful to exist in this territory. Slowly this territory gets transformed into a landscape where impossible to get justice. Slowly this territory gets transformed into a landscape where impossible to get justice. Now ultimately neither territory's geometry nor landscape's mystery matters. Women should advance. Now ultimately neither territory's geometry nor landscape's mystery matters. Women should advance. They may lose their color, not the vigor of spreading their own fragrance. They may lose their color, not the vigor of spreading their own fragrance. Their mother's dream of women empowerment twinkles like a star in the sky. Their mother's dream of women empowerment twinkles like a star in the sky. Their own strength float like kites to ignite and excite their wings of cry. Their own strength float like kites to ignite and excite their wings of cry. They watch stars and thus watching fly into them to touch their dreams. They watch stars and thus watching fly into them to touch their dreams and will wait for night bird to sing when they sleep in silence. And will wait for night bird to sing when they sleep in silence. Now my recitation is over. I extend my thanks to chairperson poet Prasanna and other friends. Thanks once again. Thank you, man, for presenting yet another, you know, deep and profound uh, poem, you know, that, that, that says of a lot. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ganga Lakshmi Patnaik, man, for coming out with a beautiful poem. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, I love your activeness, you know, <laughs> in writing, in, you know, participating in proms and everywhere, everything. Thank you, ma'am. And keep writing and keep inspiring. Now Thank I will you. go to the professor from, you know, uh, from Assam. I think he's, um, if I'm not wrong, he's from Assam. Uh, he's a well-known writer, scholar. Um, he, he has several papers to his credit. He is Ratan Ghosh, Dr. Ratan Ghosh, Professor Ratan Ghosh. Uh, would said a poem for you all. Ratan Ghosh. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Very good evening to everyone. I am really fortunate to be here among the great souls. Am I audible clearly? Yes, actually, sir. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Last day, I couldn't. Actually, last day due to uh, actually um, heavy rain, uh, you couldn't hear me. So I think uh, today is clear, no? Yeah, perfect, sir. Go ahead, sir. Uh, good evening to everyone. Good evening to the poets. Mm, good evening, my poet, poet friends. Uh, it's a privilege for me to be here. And first of all, I'd like to thank, again, uh, uh, I'd like to thank Kumar Prashanna to invite me for this uh, program. Uh, it's an auspicious day, everyone knows. Uh, uh, today, I would like to read a poem entitled Invaders. The poem is based on history. Uh, uh, we know uh, so far what uh, the invaders uh, did to our country, to our motherland, to our um, pious motherland, I can say. So the poem entitled Invaders, I'm going to read. Lost many things so far. Lost many things so far. Lost many wings of the soil so far. Since the last and the dust of the horse. Since the last and the dust of the horse. Winked, smelled, and walked years and years. To enchain the virgin layers of length. 
to enchain the virgin layers of land, land where the songs of saints forever stand. Where the songs of saints forever stand like like where the songs of saints forever stand like subarginity and hello am i audible yeah perfect perfect sir okay. uh, where the songs of saints forever stand like saints sanctity and serenity in the plain lost taken in again base beauty brothers in vain lost again in again base beauty brothers in vain since the debris of the desert since the deb debris of the desert invaded entered and slain all souls and saints with the drops of sufferings suffocations and pain in a land of humble men and women in a land of humble men and women losing steel of the brains losing steel of the brains being washed in a pool of greed and gain being washed in a pool of greed and gain from my land of saints only to walk in the street of sufferings suffocations and pain only to walk in the street of sufferings suffocations and pain 800 years of slavery and foreign pain 800 years of slavery and foreign pain yes we had to be slave our forefathers had to be the slaves of the foreign invaders for 800 years so we are not the slaves for 200 years we are slaves for 800 years we have to remember we have to read history, reread history exactly. in a different way. So we should avoid whitewashed history. Thank you. Exactly. Namaste. Very well presented. Very well presented. And you remind us the history and everything. So thank you for your beautiful presentation. Thanks for coming. Now I would, uh, you know, once again invite uh, without any introduction, she is very humble, she is very calm, and yet she, you know, uh, writes, recites, and she presents papers, everything. She is Dr. Shalini Yadav. Shalini Yadav, ma'am, kindly unmute your mic. You are here. Please yes, with us. Uh, yes, sir. I'm here. Happy Independence Day, each and everybody. Uh, I'm going to recite two of my poems uh, that are not related to Independence Day yet, uh, but uh, related to feminism. First is Teri Kag. This is a small one. Teri Kag. Panchi mira man tera kag hua pada hai. Tumne darwaja khol diya hai. Phir bhi wahi jama hua hai. Tum bhi sochte honge. Kya parwaj apni mein bhool chuki hu? या सांसारिक चील कौओं से भयभीत हो गई हूँ क्या पंखों पर भरोसा नहीं रहा है या उड़ने का जज्बा नहीं रहा है बाहें फैलाए खुला आसमा मेरी लंबी उड़ान के लिए तैयार खड़ा है मन पंची मेरा सब त्याग तेरे पिंजरे के मुंह में पड़ा है थैंक यू वन मोर आई एम गोइंग टू रिसाइट थे दैट इज रिलेटेड टू मदरहुड विजय मातृत्व ओ प्रिय आदम ईव के काल से डिजिटल युग तक मानव जाति प्रेरित हुई साक्षरता के जन्म से जहां प्रथाएं परिवर्तित हुई आविष्कार उन्नत हुए सिद्धांत निर्मित हुए नियम निश्चित हुए दार्शनिक उत्पन्न हुए साहित्यकार उत्कृष्ट हुए समानता घोषित हुई तानाशाही दराशाही हुई पूजीवाद उभरता गया उद्योगवाद पनपता गया श्रेणीवाद प्रबल हुआ भ्रष्टाचार हत्ते चढ़ा आतंकवाद अनवरत बढ़ा आम जनता निराश हुई सांप्रदायिकता खामोश हुई फिर भी पुरुष की मनोवृत्ति नहीं बदली जो एक स्त्री के दिल को धोखा देता है उसकी देश से स्वयं का मनोरंजन कर ओ प्रिय अपना अंतर्मन कहो क्या तुम्हारी रूह चाहती है तुम बोझ में परोसी जाओ एक आकर्षक मिठाई की तरह सबकी छुदा का भोज्य बनकर 
ओ प्रिय अपना अंतर मन कहो क्या तुम्हारी रूह चाहती है तुम प्रदर्शनी में रखी जाओ एक सजावटी गुड़िया की तरह पुरुष के अहंकार को भड़ाकर ओ प्रिय अपना अंतर्मन कहो क्या तुम्हारी रूह चाहती है तुम व्यवसाय में उतारी जाओ एक घमंडी उद्यमी की तरह सांसारिक दौलत पाने खाते ओ प्रिय अपना अंतर्मन कहो क्या तुम्हारी रूह चाहती है तुम प्रेक्षित की जाओ एक भड़कीली मॉडल की तरह त्वचा द्वारा विज्ञापित कर ओ प्रिय स्वयं को पहचानो तुम एक स्त्री हो जीवन दायनी हो ना कि एक व्यवसायिक उत्पाद जिसे उपभोग कर टैक दिया जाए ओ प्रिय किसी को अनुमति मत दो तुम्हें शोषित करने की तुम्हें पराजित करने की यद्यपि तुम्हारे स्वप्न धोखा दे गए हैं आंसुओं ने तुम्हें पिघला दिया है तथापि तो तुम्हारा दर्द तुम्हें शक्ति देगा और मात्र तो विजय दिलाएगा थैंक यू सर थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग ए चांस बहुत खूब मैं मैं पूछना चाहता हूँ क्या सभी पूरी सही सही होते हैं कि ये कभी बदलने वाला ही नहीं है जित, जितना तक ह्यूमैनिटी रहेगी तो बदलने ही वाला ये सोच तो ऐसे ही है <laughs> है कि नहीं <laughs> मेरे ख्याल से <laughs> आ, नहीं इसके पीछे एक कड़वी सच्चाई और भी है अगर आप देखेंगे बहुत बारीकी से कि जहाँ पर इनको रिजर्वेशन हर जगह मिलता है चाहे मेट्रो हो चाहे ट्रेन है चाहे कुछ भी और जब लेडी लेडी की बात आती है तो ये खुद ही उसको सीट वगैरह नहीं देते हैं तो वहां पर रिजर्वेशन के लिए वो लोग भूल जाते हैं पुरुष प्रधान पुरुष प्रधान करते रहते हैं जबकि ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है सिस्टम के अंदर <laughs> नहीं होता है शोषण तो होता है वो ऐसे बात नहीं है <laughs> लेकिन उतना नहीं है जितना चलता है कि भाई पुरुष प्रधान पुरुष प्रधान क्योंकि शुरू से लेडीज का अगर आप देखें हिस्ट्री उठा के तो ऐसा नहीं है कि उनको बिल्कुल ही डिग्रेड किया गया है जहाँ जहाँ स्मार्ट हो गई है अपग्रेड भी किया है लेकिन वही है की पुरुष प्रधान पुरुष प्रधान के नाम पे वो सब कुछ पुराना जमाने से ही आ रहे हैं सर पुराना जमाना ग्रीस वो पूरा एकदम इतिहास में है पूरा एकदम मित्र मिथोलॉजिकल कहानियों में भी है तो ऐसे बात नहीं है कुछ एलिमेंट्स तो है बैड तो वो तो हम भी लिखते हैं वो तो सेवन बहुत 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 हाँ नहीं भाई जैसे आप देखिए एक्सप्लोटेशन की बात की तो ऐसा नहीं है कि खाली बच्चों का एक्सप्लोटेशन है हमारे पास तो केसेस आते हैं तो जो 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 बॉय चाइल्ड होते हैं उनका भी एक्सप्लोटेशन होता है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि बेबी की बेबी चाइल्ड जो है उन्हीं का होता है तो सभी वो इक्वली है वो खाली लगता है कि भाई ऐसा है बिल्कुल सर बिल्कुल सर बहुत को बहुत को एंड वो राय शेयर करने के लिए भी बहुत शुक्रिया पुंदर सर और शालनी यादव मैम बहुत को बहुत बहुत मेरा आपका इंग्लिश अगर कुछ बोल देते तो आप इंग्लिश ऑडियंस को भी समझ आ जा जाती तो आप सर एक पॉइंट ले लीजिए फिर बोलती हो <laughs> जी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल Thank you, thank you for presenting your poem. And now I would like to call upon a very active poet from Andhra Pradesh, in uh, from Telangana, and he calls proudly calls himself from Telanganite, and his Reni Kuntla Murli. He sings, dances, writes, what not. Is uh, in English poet, Telugu poet as well. Murli Reni Kuntla very active, very dynamic, and uh, Murli Reni Kuntla. So good evening all. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Mic is yours. Go ahead with your. Yeah. Okay, sir. Happy Independence Day. Sir, before reciting, sir, Mr. Murli Reniputla from Telangana, India. Sir, before reciting my poem in English, I would like to sing a song of nature, sir. If you permit me, first of all, I'm thankful to you, Professor Kumar sir, and your team. And uh, this poem is regarding about the natural beauty. Then actually, I, want, I would like to say the poem of Moon, but uh, it is very really rainy, so I will just defer on day. That I would like to say the first part. I have been suffering from fever, limpy and ya. I put right level at my level. Okay. Yes. Oh, what some time? Oh, what some time? नव मोहन जीवन विकास मोहन जीवन विकास 
That's wonderful. To those, uh, to those all who doesn't understand what language who is and who is wondering what language it is, it is Telugu that is spoken in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana in the southern part of India. And he spoke, uh, he uh, sang a song, you know, <laughs> uh, praising uh, the season of spring and uh, you know, praising the beauty and expressing the beauty and the, everything about the spring. So that's the you know. Um, the gist of the uh, his song that's a wonderful presentation sir we are we are amazed <laughs> and, uh, thank you thank, thank you. you thank you very much sir so may i share the poem and rain sir i think uh, we have pretty much uh, a lineup is there so i think you could call up on isaac cohen so i think uh, uh, if it is a small one you could get a set okay this is a big one but uh, just one one two seconds like line okay right huh? okay. Rain, 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 is that right? Rain, 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 I am the rain. Rain, 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 I am the rain. I am gently sat on the rooftop, on the rooftop, on the trees. The school children enjoy me singing. My dogs are there. And the plants and animals feel very happy to get to this. I never touch it. I dog slowly. Sliding down the window side, entered in the home. I said to walk the room that calls to cool the room, but people cost me. I never care. The dog, the old one, and also the dog, they everything living with constant exhaustion. I carry and carry the dog as the mother of the earth, falling in love, sending spark. They pass sometimes that storm, cyclone, and hurricane. So this is thank you, son. Thank beautiful, you very much. Beautiful. <laughs> thank you very much. I just love the <laughs> way of saying. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But you are fortunate, sir. Thanks, madam. Thanks, sir. Call up. Thank you much. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you
Right, thank, you. thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, will, now I would like to call upon Isaac Cohen. Isaac Cohen, our friend from Israel, is busy. Yes. I mean, to go. So <coughs> I, I could call. Yes. Uh, Isaac Cohen, the homeless man. <coughs> the homeless man licked, groomed from the garbage. He drank the coffee, grinned that passer by, threw away. My daughter said, Papa, how miserable <laughs> is the man? <laughs> she gave him her sandwich. The homeless man lifted his hand and prayed. Thank God for the moment of grace. Thank you, Adikon. Israel. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you. Ever, ever smiling, ever, you know, you know, <laughs> lively. Very much. I mean, I love your smile always. Uh, thank you, Isaac. Now I would like to call upon a very senior member of our province, and he's uh, he writes in a form. I mean, different forms. He is Satish Srivastava for you, Satish Srivastava. Satish Srivastava, sir. Kindly unmute your mic, Dr. Satish Srivastava. Mm -hmm. So, uh, now I'm going to the Kuala Lumpur Salon. We can hear you. Hello? Yes, sir. Go ahead with your poem, sir. Okay, just a moment. Just a moment, actually. Actually, I was uh, waiting for. So let me recite. I'm clear to you? Yes, sir. You're perfectly audible. Okay. The, the same poem that I have constructed today itself on the eve of Independence Day, we are celebrating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahostho. Right? So this is an acrostic poem which I have constructed today itself. Amazing adamant has seen after 75 years of Indian freedom. Amazing amendment has seen after 75 years of Indian freedom, their fear moved towards Jammu and Kashmir in favor to its citizens. And they felt fairly freedom from situation of extreme adverse, the curse of terrorism in real sense. And they felt fairly freedom from situation of extreme adverse, the curse of terrorism in real sense. Documented doctrine, albeit was in favor to Indian government, but atmosphere was never praiseworthy to pen. Inside situation, seriously was something else. Inside situation, seriously was something else as some wolf in courts of sheep were ruling over the state. Kinda keeping kindness to Pakistani grace, creating cool atmosphere in their mind, having favor and praise. After taking the charge of country in 2014, Mr. Narendra Damodar Das Modi has taken his entry in the current Indian politics. After taking the charge of country, in 2014, Mr. Narendra Damodar Das Modi has taken his entry in the current Indian politics and done a lot of favor to nationalism besides helping poorly people, economic development, defense, and capturing corrupt capitalists. Monetary issues, uplifting country in sense of security through 
abolishment of article 370 and improving status of kashmir issue reported to be as his best decision that change completely the deteriorated situation and then a law to local people status upgradation in fact the current scenario not only in jammu and kashmir has witnessed the encouraging progress but all around the country terrorist activities are almost at the verge of dying that's made valid reasons to pakistanis crying at begging stage we bought the, that country terrorist activities are almost at the verge of dying that's made valid reason to pakistanis crying at begging stage we bought that country majority of people in the country are enjoying while opposition leaders are best of their efforts crying and cursing to our pm mr modi azadi ka amrit mahotsav the great grand gracious celebration of indian independence in memorials of the freedom fighter heartly gratitude heartly gratitude offering salute to all brave fighting soldiers who sacrificed their lives in the name of saving mother india on the record of on the record or off the record many of them even unknown to us we are recalling here now the greatest endeavors of brave men such the nation feels hilarious profound celebrating moment proudly upon the nation feels hilarious profound celebrating moment proudly upon that has come after so long and we all are singing song we all are singing songs songs of patriotism videos are playing people following procession on cars and bikes with holding flags in their hands following musical band azadi ka amrit mahotsav is our greatest celebration nation wise while all the participating while azadi ka amrit mahotsav is our greatest celebration nation wise where all are participating whole hearted forgetting caste and creed very profound unprecedented historical function of the century to make awareness among our successors the loveliest most feel that's all thank you very much for listening this point thank you very much beautiful sir uh, reflects the present times i would say uh, well uh, we almost have finished i think uh, except one i think we we have finished uh, listening patriotic indian uh, independence uh, theme based uh, uh, poems now i think we could switch on to our uh, guests i mean it's a friends uh, to open session i would now straight away go to uh, tania attic she is a first timer on our fatal brains i would like to call upon tania attic uh, to kindly introduce herself before reciting her poem and Tanya, over to you. Um, I'm Tanya Aitic. I'm poet, writer, and graphic artist. I'm from Canada, but also from Serbia. I greet all poets, and especially Kumar Prasina, great world poet, who I thank you for invitation me me to this beautiful meeting. And I would read my poem now. Thank you. Amon Ra, you like Amon Ra, the man godhead of the ancient Egyptians, and the symbol of creative power and birth, like Amor, a god of love and jokes. of the ancient romans and as errors you think love wins everything and that love is stronger than anything and all your entertainment and play 
as very fun, interesting, and ineligible. With nice manners and with a real relationship to the whole world. In a friendly manner, you speak, but I believe you as a mistress, mistress in love without superfluous words. As a reason, resident of Bright Zone, which one shadow into one season, throws to the north and the other to the south, in the middle of everything, I trust you. You have penetrated into all the secrets of carousel, comedy, cheerful music and rhythm in everything that signifies of joy in the world. Now you think just of the party. So it is easy for me to follow you and I trust you above everything. We are playing time, just waiting for us. Minutes are any questions. Thank you. Wow, wow. A beautiful rendition, I would say. A beautiful rendition, Tanya, ma'am. Uh, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the for us, a beautiful poem. Now I would uh, next I would like to call upon. I think uh, she requests no introduction for open micers. I mean, who, who regularly, I mean, attends uh, open mic. I mean. Uh, she created an academy of uh, herself and a poetry academy to say, and she regularly conducts seminars, you know, the kind of uh, teachings, uh, regularly conducts the, the poetry recital, so open my series. She's very accommodating, very, I mean, very lively, very you know, enthusiastic. She's from, um, you know, uh, San Francisco. San Francisco. Uh, her academy name is Poetry Global Network, and she is Finn Bell. <laughs> uh, welcome, Finn Bell, first time, and we wholeheartedly welcome you. Uh, to the it. You, you, you caught me by surprise. I just realized towards the end that you were um, talking about me. <laughs> So good morning, everybody. Magandang umaga mula sa San Francisco Bay Area. My name is Finn Bell. I wanted to thank Prasanna for inviting me to this lovely celebration of your independence. Um, and all the poetry today, I was going to share something newer, but um, the patriotism, the love of motherland um, just so inspired me that I'm going to share an older piece. So I hope that you will indulge me. Um, this is my love letter to two mothers, um, the first mother being my mother's homeland where she was born, which is the, the love of my heart, um, even though I'm Filipino American. And so this is called, We Were Once Queens. We Were Once Queens. Ang bayan kung Pilipinas, lupa inang gintot bulaklak. Pag-ibig na sa kanyang palad, nag-alay ng ganda't dilag. At sa kanyang yumi at ganda, dayuhan ay nahalina. Bayan ko, binihag ka, masadlak sa dusa. My soul yearns to reach up to the mountain tops and hear the goddesses and their gods sigh, rejoicing in my presence, cradling my thoughts in Verity's sweet bosom. I am heard, I am seen, I am not the unknowable. I am here. The world does not hang below. We are celestial discarded trinkets, the dimidity of the afterglow, the old ones had wearied of our novelty, they have forgotten us. Or do they trample us underfoot still, gaiety crackle thunder as we hide our faces and flee? I am not the refuse to be swept away the tedium. I am the native soil. I am not the one who does not belong. 
Before time, I fashioned the moon from the strands of my hair and captured her mate, the sun, to attend her. Before civilizations, I was the earth who split herself wide and cried out, Bayang magilu, perlas ng silanganan, alab ng puso, sa dibdib mo'y buhay, lupang hinirang, duyan ka ng magiting, sa manlulupig, ikapasisiil. I birthed archipelagos. I whispered sephir lullabies to my children as they slumbered and called each of them by their name. Luzon, my beloved, we are strength of our descendants. Visayas, anak, we will prosper and number in the millions. Mindanao, Bunsuko, remember whence you came from. Your blood spilled is Maharlika, the azure and rose of a sunset upon each pearl offspring in your wake. Ibun mang may layang lumipad, kulungin mo at umiiyak. Bayan pa kayang kanyang sakdal dilag Ang di magnasang makaalpas Pilipinas kong minumutya Pugad ng luha at dalita Aking adhika Makita kang sakdal ya Stranger, do not call me the displaced. Do not rape my daughters one by one until they tear their diadem from their head and forget their mother in a whitewashed madness. I will not be banished. The sky cannot hold itself aloft in my absence. I will not leave the ground beneath withers as I uproot. That's why you are called Chancellor of the Academy. I mean, what a call, what a touching poem you interspace with, you know, your mother tongue, you know, Filipino and English, you know, to understand. That's a wonderful Thank way of presentation, so ma'am. That's Thank a you. wonderful um, can way. I, can I clarify the, the, um, the chancellor actually of Poetry Academy is Mark Fishbein, the wonderful Mark Fishbein. Mark um, Fishbein. Please do check him out. Uh, he's wonderful. But yeah, we are part of the Poetry Global Network. Thank yeah. you so much. You are no lesser than the chancellor, I would say. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Now I would like to call upon, you know, my uh, earlier called, uh, you know, my favorite Pankuri Sinha, ma'am. Uh, she is an always inspiring and she is a motivator always. Pankuri Sinha, ma'am. Thank you so much. Just a minute, Prasanna ji. I just need to turn off my cooler. Sorry. So that you can hear me and you have to allow me to read without video because last time my audio wasn't clear. So sure. is my audio better now? Yeah, yeah, audio is perfect. Great, thank you. And um, thank you again for the generous invite, for your generous introductions, and thank you for the wonderful poems to all the poets. I've been, I was away for a minute, but then I've been hearing and the singing was amazing. Okay, so I want to, I know today is the eve of Independence Day and we are all in the flag hoisting mood and my mother has also done that. Two flags now flying on the top of my house. So, but I want to read another poem because I have another poet friend in Ukraine with whom I was talking today. And so I want to read a poem for Ukraine. It's called Footsteps in Ukraine. Giant buses with headlights on screech to a halt, teary-faced, red-eyed mothers clutching a toddler in one hand, holding tiny fingers tightly in another, slowly walk to its gates, baby footsteps leaving motherland for the first time for absolute uncertainty. For absolute uncertainty. May these images, the sights and sounds of Ukraine, melt some callous hearts. May these tiny footsteps turn around and return home. May they get to walk in peace in meadows full of flowers, in schoolyards full of teachers. May children never have to deal with landmines below and bombs above, but why are we still wishing for such a basic trivial thing? Why do we live in a world constantly pulling itself back? 
Which year was that, the long Jewish march on snow? Was it 42 or 44? It has always been with me, dangling for balance on thin black ice. I once walked to the city center in a Canadian downtown in the foothills of the Rockies along the train tracks because walking is most relieving when dealing with the pain of discrimination. Gandhi walked to the sea with the slogan of making one's own tax-free salt. Walking is a symbol of human might, emblematic of loving triumph. People walk to be felicitated. At a time when peace is somehow packaged with corporate health and distributed in tiny handouts by big brands, how can this world turn a blind eye to the marching in, of invading soldiers over lives of people recently liberated in the neighborhood? It's not the military drill or the boot clanks of a heavily armored invader, but the footsteps of the brave soldiers defending their land, tiptoeing between buildings and corners of streets, building bunkers and ditches, crawling over distances upon the rubble of life, ruins of faith. It's the mark of those soldierly footsteps over unnecessarily splattered blood that's going to haunt humanity for a long, long time. Thank you. Wow, ma'am. That's what would I would have said. That's Pankudi Sinha for you. And she, uh, let me say, friends, she is very vocal, vociferous, you know, e expressing and you know, social issues, current themes, you know, uh, she's very active in doing that. And uh, she's very much, uh, you know, I, I would say very you know, enthusiastic in expressing the, her opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for much. Very kind. And I she have... Really she poetry she tries to present and that's is something great about her, I would say. Uh, I learned a lot. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm very honored, very humble. Thank you. You're yeah. very kind, and I have to say the same about you. Thank, thank you for hosting this thank event. You. Thank you for inviting us with such warmth. Thank it's really thank wonderful you. to share poetry. Thank you. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Now I would like to call upon my, you know, very, I mean, very sweet. I would see as he call me the brother and she's from again in Philippines, Joanna Amarao. Hi, hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, happy Independence Day. I, I mean, happy Independence Eve to every in of my Indian friends and Joan. Hello. Uh, could you could anybody see her video? I think if I may ask. I could not see her. I mean, it's no video is not. I mean, I could. She is not on the line. She is still on the line. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Uh, am I audible now? Yeah, yeah, I audible. Yeah. Okay. Again, happy Independence Eve to everyone. And thank you so much thank for you. having me here. My poem is entitled End of the Border Lie. Um, here it goes. I am lost in between 
my identity, and myself. My heart was a cough in the world that looks round, but clearly a huge box of deceit. To be or not to be is out of the question, but how could it, how could this be? Where is the so-called humanity? Does it lie on the race bros eyeing from head to foot with a smirk? Or is it hidden in the posty shoulders that bounce back and forth? Was it <clears throat> a shame to be real or a scene to show my real skin or to disguise under masks is how we will feel secured? My voice was muffed and sealed, yearning to be shredded and powdered, to dance along the wind and slay with the sun rays and evaporate on its border to catch the elusive answer in every drop of the rain that opened armed society and its attribution has a different definition. Dust, the only valid motion is to turn left and be wrong and there's no way, there's no way you can make it right. There's no escape either, but to jump into the hay of needles, stitching the gaps, hemming the lines, streaming the edges and embrace diversity, then cut. Tap the squared of tip tongues and give a chance to change the lie to into line, a straight and fair line, to flatten and break the change of limitation and its filtered implication. Let's all end, let's all end the battle of sour graping traits and bittersweet dreams to triumphant reality of unity. Reality of unity of all colors. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. That, Happy Independence uh, Day. That, uh, that's when they said the mic has spoken. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's a wonderful way of presentation. That's you should be on open mic on a uh, Finn. Finn and <laughs> you know on Mish and uh, Richard as well. Now Thank calling you. upon our very own and our regular and he's like blessing to us. Always, you know, he presents something spiritual, metaphysical, and he's, he's a kind of inspiration for all of us. He is Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Everyone. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Sir. It's such an honor to be here to celebrate India's independence. Uh, as although I'm not a son of India directly, I have drunk from the great spiritual wealth and cultural vitality that is India. India's civilization goes back to the earliest days of mankind. And I offer not so much exactly a poem to India, but to, since we all regard India as the mother, mother India, I offer this to all mothers as well as to mother India. It's called the first gifts. Yes, you welcomed the babes at your breast, gave them from your own life's sustenance. First, you thought of them, their pleasure, their pain, their needs, and then some other. Then, lastly, yourself. You brought them through the most holy, sacred gate they will ever enter into the world and into human life. It can be readily said you gave them the first gifts. Before the gods at the cradle round bestowed those precious others, you clothed them in flesh, gave them their first form. What cells and man and fashion could give, you gave first. Oh, you mothers, before your gift there was nothing, and your giving self made every other giving possible. When the first cry is heard, it calls your name. When each searching hand first reaches out, it reaches out for you. When you press the tiny lips to your breast and smell those first tender breaths, those sweet garden scents are meant for you alone. As tiny fingers begin the long, lonely search, they search first for you. Never 
Is this new being more beautiful than when seen with your eye? Never is the kind of blessing given than that given from your heart and your eye. No wonder the mother is so universally blessed. No wonder such special blessedness belongs first and last to mothers. She has given so much of her flesh, of her heart, the first gifts. Thank you. Wow. To you all, to all the that's mothers, and to Mother tribute. India. That's a resounding tribute to your mother, in fact, I would say. <laughs> the wonderful, sir. Thank wonderful. You. Sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for being with us every time. Thank you. Keep coming, sir, and keep inspiring us always. Now, I would like to call upon a very senior poet and she's very patient i mean she's written so many books and she's very enthusiastic she has you know down with she's down with you know health issues but yet uh, she presented herself you know on the dais. Yeah, so i would like to call upon uh jill sharon kimmel jill Mike is yours. Thank you. What a surprise. I was thanks. waiting and waiting. And and thanks, waiting. For, thanks for bearing with us and uh, thank and uh, uh, keeping waited and for a long time and sorry for that. And, oh, uh, no, no problem. Um, it has been an extraordinary joy to just listen. It reminds me this morning of being at the opera where absolutely nothing is translated, but every emotion is felt. So hearing all of these poems in so many tongues is a moment that um, I hope to be able to capture in a future poem. Thank you always for making me feel so very welcome. And like so many others today, I'm changing the poem I planned. I had planned on something that was related to independence for India, but as time um, is, is going on, I'm going to just do something very short and very simple. I'd like to thank you all. It's, it's been a joy to be a part of here, and I'm not going to be able to be active for the next at least three months. So being here today is, is a great send off for me. This poem is, I wrote this morning actually, it's called Blossoms for a Friend. Like a crush of vibrant summer blossoms left at my door, mere wilting, Without a note, you enter my thoughts, wiggle your way into my heart. I carry the flowers inside, marvel at an array of delicate painted petals. Astonishing are their shades and subtleties. I pour cool, clean water and a dash of sugar into a burnished copper pitcher. Set them on an ancient pine table. Struggle to comprehend the message of this surprise gift. Capture the image of a moment's magical, memorable beauty. To save and savor as I do with the words of our quiet conversations. When winter's canvas is frost and bleak, these magnificent blossoms will illuminate my pale dawns, carry me through the darkest of espresso nights. Thank you. Well, that's, 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 Jill Sharon Kimlin for you all my friends. See, the, that's the beauty of her recitation and I hope you all got the meaning of the poem as well. Thank you for uh, presenting your beautiful poem and coming to the uh, show ma'am. Uh, you know, 
having all difficulties you are facing but then your guy you know uh he respected the, the invite and it came up thank you thank you for thank presenting you. your beautiful poem now again thank uh, you it's my pleasure thank you ma'am thank you it's our honor in fact i would say and uh, now i would like to move on to next participant and he is very i mean uh, he's a rapper uh, kind of rapper he writes so well and he is from new zealand he's fungo Spongo, kindly unmute your mic. Yes, 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 I'm here. Can you hear me? And he's young and dynamic and poet from New Zealand. Hello. Yeah. Hi, hi, can you hear me? Go ahead, Spongo, go. Ah, all right, all right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Prashna. My name is Pongo. I'm not from New Zealand. I'm from Zimbabwe. Ah, Zimbabwe. Sorry, sorry for that. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I'm from Zimbabwe, not New Zealand. But I'm currently living in Sierra Leone. Great raining. A lot. Uh, it's, it's, it's really nice. It's a really nice day. But I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, to all the poets who came before me, thank you very much for sharing your work. Uh, I really appreciate it to you. For, um, uh, for creating this space for us to come and share our work. Um, and like I said earlier, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I'm going to recite, um, I'm going to recite a poem titled The Monsters. Uh, before I do that anyway, uh, happy Independence Day to all my Indian brothers and sisters in here. I hope you have a really, really good day. Uh, so I'm going to perform a poem titled The Monsters. Uh, it's uh, basically um, um, how I Pongo, your voice is breaking and your video as well. Spongo, can you hear me? Uh, let me ask you all if Pongo is visible to you or audible to you? Uh, anybody? Because for me, he is not. Okay, I think he has got a, a network issue. I think I could now call upon our. He's a. Uh, he's uh, uh, maybe, uh, I think. He too is called to be a spiritual guru, I think I, I fam, uh, rightly phrased, and he is lantern carrier. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Charanarabinda. Shama Shundara Gukulananda Baja Govinda Charanarabinda Shama Shundara Gukulananda Bande Matram Mother I bow to thee if I were asked under what sky the human mind has most fully developed some of its choices, gifts, has most deeply pondered over the greatest problems of life and has found solutions to some of them, which well deserve the attention even of those who have studied Plato and Kant, I should point to India. And if I were to ask myself from what literature we here in Europe we who have not yet almost exclusively on the thoughts of Greeks and Romans and of one Semitic race, the Jewish, may draw that corrective which is most wanted in order to make our inner life more perfect, more comprehensive, more universal, in fact, more truly human, 
a life not for this life only, but a transfigured and eternal life, again, I should point to India. Lead me not from the unreal to the real, lead me from darkness to light, lead me from death to immortality. India's first avatar, Sri Ramachandra's philosophy is obedience and sacrifice. Sri Krishna's philosophy is give up all religions, take shelter in me, you I shall liberate, be thou only an instrument, you have the right to work, but not to the fruits thereof. Lord Buddha's philosophy is compassion and forgiveness. Sri Taitanya's philosophy is love unconditionally. Everybody has the right to deserve love. India's philosopher unparalleled Sri Shankaracharya's philosophy is neti neti, not this, not that. The world is an illusion. Sri Ramakrishna's philosophy is the synthesis of all religions. Be a child heart, God will immediately be all yours. Sri Vivekananda's philosophy is be brave, have adamantine, adamantine willpower. The soul cannot be won by the weakling. Sri Aurobindo's philosophy is the acceptance of life, yoga integral. Faith can be changed by an unchanging will. We are sons of God and must be even as he. Ramana Maharshi's philosophy is, who am I? Who am I? Since I'm a son of Mother India, I too have my own philosophy. My philosophy is love, devotion, and surrender. Love the supreme in humanity. Devote yourself to the supreme in humanity. Surrender yourself to the supreme in humanity. Each philosopher sage of the highest order realizes the truth in his own way. Each one creates a path which others may follow in order to arrive at the destination, the golden shore of the beyond. But the truth is itself does not vary. That is why we say that the Indian philosophy, the Indian religion, and the Indian spirituality all have the self same source. Satya meva jayate, truth alone triumphs. Lantern carrier. Wow. Thank you. My God, my God. Naiti, Naiti, you summed up, you know, Sanatana Dharma in the in your poem you know that's a great, great befitting tribute i would say i would say not my dharma indeed indeed i mean say i mean i have no words you know if, if i say and everybody out here would agree with me and that's lantern carrier for you uh, you yeah. know, presented a beautiful poem in on in the concept of you know the philo Hindutva or concept of Sanatana Dharma. You know that that, that thing you summed up. I don't want the credit. I took from my spiritual guru, Sri Chinmoy Kumar Ghosh from Bangladesh. Wow, that's wonderful, sir. Looking at you, you know, I feel like you know I'm having you know to, to make a prostration. You know, you know that is the thing. Uh, so that's wonderful. Shukriya, my brother. Shukriya. Thank you. Thank you for inspiring. Thank you for presenting a befitting tribute to India and on the day eve of Independence Day. Uh, I would say. Yeah, I mean, now i think i would uh, go to spongo once again and i uh, would request him to you know turn his mic and uh, video and just look at his technicalities after the technicalities uh yeah greetings again everybody uh, i apologize for that uh the power went off like uh yeah i decided to cut the power open uh, for that. anyway i was about to perform a poem titled the monsters i hope you enjoy I was taking a walk the other night, um, call it a smoke break if you like, when I came across this old man. He said to me, son, do you have a lighter? Of course. I was out smoking. I had a lighter. I gave the man my lighter and watched him pull out the cigarette out of his pocket, place it on his lips, 
obsessed on fire. As if he was reading my mind, he blew all the smoke right into my face. And he said, son, we, we are the monsters, we, we are your rulers, they got a gun to your head because we hear you. We, we are the demons, we, we are the preachers, we've got fairy tales in your head to control you. We used to believe the media and alternatives to control, delete and alternative divisions to create altercation, the experimenting with your people during vaccination, TV screens causing identity assassination. We function nations, then we offer them resuscitation. Mouth to mouth, smell our colonial breath in, telling our essence through a kiss of death so you can look down upon your color, lit your skin in a beauty color, renting an identity in reaching our entity. See, we take the profits, then we take more money when you give to the prophets, or you get drunk to battle ill early mornings to settle bills. You're up before the sun rays because you have a sun to raise, wages is a red sun to raise when you moved you from your barn to wave and gave you. I was dumb to pay. I stood there like, yo, guy, you just have to borrow a lighter. Where is all this coming from? As I was about to say, say, can I have my lighter back? You said, son, I said, we, we are the monsters. We, we are your leaders. We've got a gun to your head because we hear you. We, we are the demons. We, we are the creatures. We've got fairy tales in your head to steal from you. We own the leaders you are led by the television you were bred by, walking with your head high, not knowing that you were dead by uh, your penal gland is calcified, the order wants to be calcified because all of this is classified that you not tell this information. No, a new order is information, yes, promotion of a sinful nation. We spread the deeds of abomination, meet up in Obama's nation to legalize abominations and nah. We ain't taking crap like constipation. See, stripping naked is now an occupation. Sex work was now making some computations. Second coming, yeah, yeah, we've got you waiting while we're taking over and dominating. This is the matrix. We sit down and wait tricks. We do pew with beliefs. We whip you to stay sick. So these are the basics. Keep you chasing things to buy with your tasteless. All of creation completed and basics. Just like you the key, we took it. So. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Wow, Spongo. What would I say? That's so intense. And you made a swoon with, you know, the kind of emotion. Uh, let me ask you, friends, uh, whether have you uh, watched his performance, his expressions. That's the way he writes, performs. Spongo is all for you, all in one package. Oh, Spongo, Thank thanks you. for coming. Thanks for you know Thank presenting you. your intense and powerful poem, powerful rendition. I would say. Thank you, uh, Spongo. And now I would like to call upon my very dear friend Alexandra Sarapolo from Greece. She requests no introduction. She is a visual poet. Happy independent. Can you see the graphics going by? Yes, yes. Okay, this is a short poem since today was a very busy day. The flying is high, the flying is high, the flying is the highest. It lasts forever. Take me on the turquoise horse over the hay fields into the sun forever. High mountains flying right, no crash landing. Deep ravines, rivers flowing, eagles above. Taking me on the turquoise horse, love, freedom, poetry. If you can accept the windings of my mind, if you can trust the reality of my fantasies. Living in the strange wonders, and genuine pleasures of this world and other worlds, living where fantasy and reality merge, following the intuition and intuitions of the past, 
following the invisible and the visible, lying by the sea under the olive tree, open and ready, it's all changing. Don't think hard of the ghosts of the past, where energy is rewarded, where life gives it all. At 14 and 16, they prepared me for you, taking me on the turquoise horse over the wild flowers into the wind and fire forever. The flying is high, the flying is high, the flying is the highest. It is absolute. Thank you. Wow, that's from Flying Cities of Alexandra at another poem and hope you all enjoyed it. And that's, you know, always here in this, it takes us to a you know, journey of, you know, meditative mode, I would say. <laughs> that's Francisco for you all. Uh, sorry, Alexandra for you all. Alexandra, thanks for being with us always and thanks for encouraging the platform and thanks for supporting. Now I would like to love to uh, call upon Francis Song. Hello. I got to visit the buffaloes yesterday, so I was singing a little song about sure, sure, some things sure. that we think about our independence. Um, oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam and the skies are not cloudy all day. Okay, um, talking about peace, love, and globalization. Peace, love, and globalization. Dear global friends, to each other we are supportive. We give our hearts only to strengthen friendships. Being global friends, we support each other in our daily lives, sharing news, video games, TV shows. We can even share the same foods if available. So what are your recipes? Vaccinations, emojis will be our new currency. Music is universal. So let's save it as well. Peace, love, and globalization. I appreciate every poet today for sharing their song, their independence, and everything that they're about. Thank you so much, Francesca Kirkpatrick. And Thank I you. am in a contest called Miss Stars and Stripes. I'll put the link in the thing so that you guys, if you feel that you would like to vote for me daily until uh, the contest ends, it's a very wonderful thing that I can do for the US, our community, and possibly other people if, you know, if I get to be the Miss Stars and Stripes, but otherwise I'm just in the nominations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Francesa, for presenting at another. You're a beautiful singer as well. You know, <laughs> today you become a singer now. We presented to people. And we'll please share your details and all details of, you know, social uh, network handles and all in the chat box. Uh, now i think uh, we have reached almost to the end of the show but then and thanks thanks for bearing with us and having a patience of you know sitting uh, all, all the while throughout the show and now jennifer is there yeah. she's my long time friend i would say <laughs> jennifer hi thank you thank you very much and all indians i wish you a happy independence day tomorrow my country, Jamaica, just celebrated 60 years of independence on August 6th. So the struggle continues. Um, there's a short romantic poem called Empty Words. We were so happy. Why was Pandora's box opened? Which one of you rekindled the flame? You are giving your love to your ex again. But I do love you. These words you say to me often, many never hear them, some much too seldom. I was always proud that you were never too proud to say to me, I love you. For some time now, they are merely meaningless words. Why? Thank you. Oh. You always present this short and sweet yet, you know, you know, this profound. That's the beauty of your writing. <laughs> and, uh, thank, you. And, thank you. And I love your all smile always, you know, very much. <laughs> you know, active. <laughs> Thanks for, you know, honoring my invite and coming on the show always. 
And, uh, Pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. I have to remember of Fatal Brands and keep ins inspiring, keep encouraging, keep supporting. Now I will go to Mick Mezza from Australia. He's my brother. And no, so you'll be audience. <laughs> okay, okay. I think. Okay, I think uh, I could go to Maria. Um, she's our team member, and this is uh, very, uh, you know, uh, from Brazil. So, Maria. Hello, good evening, everyone. Happy Independence Day to all Indians. Um, I'm going to recite my poem. It's about uh, soldiers. We are the soldiers of freedom. We shall fight against any tyranny. Nobody can catch short liberty. Let's hoist our flag and settle our will. Freedom, freedom. Remember the ones who came first and a long years fought for liberty. They are the heroes. Who, know, who now are dead, giving their lives for a better nation, peaceful and absent of hate. Free and weakle are all of us on this land of our might Lord. The one who showed us to love one another, free of sin, man shall live. Heart without hate, Respecting our creatures, many of us are tired of battles. Leave behind any kind of evil struggles, winning not to fight. Love your country, family, and friends. Do not make war. Give the peace a bit of chance. Thank you very much. I congratulate all poets who have already presented their poems. They uh, are all beautiful. I enjoyed them very much. Thank you. I always love your ending, the way you end the show, you know, for your poem, Maria. Uh, <laughs> short, but yeah, yes. Thank you. Thank you for being. Thank you. you know, thank you. Thank you. A team, member, a team member you always support, so I, I respect you a lot. Thank you, thank you, Maria. Now we have one thank point you. left, and he is from Bangalore. He is a professor. He is, he is very core to the literature. He writes in peculiar style and uh, you know classical concept. I mean classical, you know what you call uh, scale, rhythm, and rhyming and all. Uh, <laughs> you could say so meter and all. So he is Lakshman Rao. Doctor, I'm sorry, Mr. Lakshman Rao. Thanks a lot, Mr. Prasanna Kumar. That was a beautiful, uh, what do you say, like presentation about me. So, uh, like, uh, I just wanted to say something about Salman Rushdie and the, uh, the freedom of uh, speech that has been endured by, by a scathing attack on him. But I don't know if I at all, like, uh, everybody accepts and agrees on that note. Like, it's not justifiable, even if it's a human being. It's not justifiable to attack any person on that one. So, so I'd like to have some deep respect for him, for all the writers and the poets all over the world. That's one thing. The other thing, like when it comes to my poetry, you know, I have a poem here. Like every poem, it comes with the questions and some answers. Like we have some uh, some sort of disturbances here and there, and we are we find to find we find to. Uh, we try to find some answers to the queries that the minds that's the mind which puts forth. So here comes my poem, the curious questions. The title of the poem is the curious questions. Creativity at times doesn't come with these. Creativity at times doesn't come with these, but with chaos, complexities, and confusions. It has to pervade into the placid lakes of certitude. It has to pervade into the lake, placid lakes of certitude where it ends up being serene and composed, where it ends up being serene and composed. It stirs many a curious questions. It stirs many, many curious questions, asking if they are on the perfect path of presentation to represent, on the perfect path of presentation to represent. 
the solvable solutions to the queries of the mind that puts forth. The so solvable solutions to the queries of the mind that puts forth. Hence, align and attune to the tune of your pounding art. Hence, align and attune to the tune of your pounding art. Synchronize and sync. Synchronize and sync to the serene space of the mind. Synchronize and sync to the serene space of the mind. Acknowledge the awesome feeling how you are going through. How you are going through. The love and the hatred, the pain and the anger, the resentment and the rejection, the de dejection and the deception. All are effects. All are effects. The monologue of introspection, the monologue of introspection may or may not lead to direct answers. The monologue of introspection may or may not lead to direct answers. But be curious as a kid. But be curious as a kid in practicing your subconsciousness. By practicing your subconsciousness with right questions. With right questions. Thank you. This is Lakshman Prof from Bangalore. Thanks a lot, Mr. Prasanna, sir, for giving me yeah. an opportunity to speak. Uh, That's my you also about my I think I felt the emotionality in your face too, sir, uh, when you are reading out the poem and yeah. you are saying the word. And uh, thank you. I mean, that, that comes out, that quite naturally, that has to come out. If you, if you have that emotion in your poem, that naturally comes out. And if you have nothing in it, like there's nothing as simple as that. Exactly, sir. That's, yeah. uh, on that note, I think I could uh, go to, uh, I think we have one point left. Uh, she just has joined. I, uh, no, I think uh, we pretty much have finished the show. I think uh, we have Tupali ma'am is there with us and uh, Dr. Janata Ramnathan is there. Then if they would like to say a few words about the program, uh, they could and uh, otherwise that's we could end up the show. Oh, Dr. Rano Ramadan. And Dr. Rupali, ma'am. Showed up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's who would be first now? Then I think I could uh, go ask uh, Rupali, ma'am, being a senior member, being a yeah. and, uh, honorable member. So I think she is a little person. So I think Rupali, ma'am, would be waiting. Uh, what do you want me to say? Yes, ma'am, you are. The mic is yours and everyone is you. <laughs> well, firstly, I would like to thank you because uh, you're a true citizen of this country. You know, I have no idea where you belong to, what language you speak, hmm? and uh, what religion you belong to. You, have, you are so particular that those are not the definitions and distinctions uh, when, we, uh, when we think of people. And this country, you know, has, uh, you know, for all those, with all due respects to our Pradhan Mantri, I wasn't born in 2014, okay? I was not born in 2014, and whatever I have achieved, I achieved before that, too, you know? And as a woman, I'll say that to be able to be educated uh, in a free country, I was born when India was free, um, to be educated as a woman, to go to the best of institutions, uh, to be, um, you know, respected, to get a job. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, the gift of this country to me. And therefore, while I praise and, and I am happy that uh, the people we have elected are doing their job, which they have to do, they have to build roads and airports and stuff like that, I cannot forget the contribution made by the great men and women in this country. It would be very unfair. It would be like telling when I'm successful saying that, oh, what did my mother or father do for me? You know, so I want that all of us should remember that it is not only people who die for the country, but the soldier who carries the dead soldier on his shoulder that we should also celebrate. You know, we always seem to be very happy to talk about the Shaheed. We must talk about those who are here with their limbs broken, their hands cut off because of war, people who have fought and come back alive to their families and to serve the nation again. So thank you so much uh, for, and, and, and I think the greatest gift is the gift of freedom. The greatest gift. And God, uh, and many gods in this country have given us that. They have, been, they have given us this and we must really love our brothers and sisters. You know, we 
must reach out, which you are doing through poetry. And poetry is such a powerful medium, Prasanna. You know, imagine because it stirs every time you're wearing a poem, you're talking about your emotion. Yes. You know? And um, I will, you know, when you say uh, something in poetry, you can say it in two lines, it won't happen in 10 pages of prose. So let us all be friends, let us be brothers and sisters, let us be kind to each other and do what you can with whatever ability you have for another human being. Gandhiji is each one, each one. Just one person. Help one person. Help yourself and help one person. Thank you so much, Prasanna, for giving me this opportunity. This country has given me so much. In fact, I would say you okay. even have me, given me so much. That's the way. Otherwise, I wouldn't be uh, the way I am. And I, and I must, I must compliment you that because the, it is the eve of you know the, uh, of our independence day, that I see that josh in you. I've never seen so much of josh in you. You know that. Well, you know this is the person that I always wanted to see. And you are there, and you conducted this program so beautifully with so much love and affection and warmth. And understanding, and that itself is a, a great joy for us. A great joy for us. Thank you so much, Prasanna. Just keep doing. This. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I think. Now I would go to Janata, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Once more, uh, thank you, Prasanna ji. Uh, when you asked me to say some words, I was wonderstruck. I, that's why I don't know what to speak. But as Rubali, ma'am said. Uh, thank God that we are in, a, in a, such esteemed, uh, reputed uh, life we are leading here, only because of the um, our patriots. They have and so we are safeguarding their uh, the freedom they have got us. And actually, in uh, Tamil, there is a word "iravil kidaitha sudandiram yinnam vidiyave illai." That means the freedom which we got in the night has no dawn at all. So it's uh, but uh, I say that. Uh, as ma'am said, um, the, because of the, that is the tribute to the freedom fighters as a homemade, we all have good education. And I don't say that we are not empowered. To some extent, some people are empowered because uh, we are living in a country where there is completely a secularistic country where we respect all religion in respect of the caste, color, and creed. The, today's um, this uh, fertile brains, this poetic festival itself is an example to show that the whole universe is here. We all are here. So throughout the members from the country, we all are here and we are able to communicate with each other, respect each other, love each other and share the feel of this Independence Day even. So this itself says that we are somewhat secular and safe, but still there is the other half of the people they are in the fringes and uh, they do not know what to do. And so as uh, human beings, as a humanitarian with a consideration, we should, writers, we can, through our writings, we can try to bring the people from the fringes to the center and also allow them also to live with us. So there are many discrepancies and also differences existing still in the society. So as human beings, we can look to that. And how come in this independence we can take an oath that we, all, we will see everyone together as equals, love each other, because human love only can, uh, what I can say, heal the scars and the pain and the wounds that many people might have experienced through many uh, incidents or in their life. So we shall be human, we shall have humanitarian consideration, and we'll practice humanism throughout our life helping each other and embracing everyone to live together in this universe. That's what I think. Thank you. Wonderful. 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 Once, wonderful. That's a really a concluding speech. And let's embrace the humanity. Let's embrace the humanism. Uh, you know, the, 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 you know, lo loving uh, love, affection, peace and all together. And uh, on that note, uh, we had uh, very much, you know, uh, powerful renditions, uh, lively singing, uh, yes. pretty themes we enjoyed. So on this, uh, I'd like to conclude 
thanking all the uh, thanking rupali ma'am and dr janata ramanathan ma'am for uh, their concluding speech with their rhetoric and uh, was a powerful in fact and for very impactful speech i would say and now uh, and also i'll thank jennifer mick lantern maria gangalashmi patnaim and tanya rashmi ranjan ma'am and francis of fin lantern and joan amreo and all those who participated and made this evening uh, memorable thank you i will I'll come with another uh, next week see you on next weeks thank you thank you thank you so much president